Hi YouTube, Gerald here. And because in badminton, we need to do a lot of lunges, especially the front and the side to defend. So the result is that we end up ha having a lot of scuffing on the side of our shoes, especially the non-master foot because we usually have to drag it while we are doing footwork. And this, it is very common. So, and as a result, you end, you end up with a shoe that, that spoils on one side. And it's, it is such a pity that you have to throw the entire pair of shoes just because one side of the shoe spoils. So in this video, I'll be sharing you some tips on how you could better protect your shoes so that they can last much, much longer. There are three ways in which I recommend you use to protect your shoe. The first is shoe glue, and the second is plastic dip. And the last one will be using a sports tape actually, which is my favorite, my personal favorite. So first, first is using shoe glue. Shoe glue is actually a product that originated or is mostly used by skateboarders because skateboarders have similar problems with as badminton players where they have a lot of scuffing on their sides of the shoe. So they invent the create. Skateboard shops usually carry this product called shoe glue, which very effectively protects uh, your badminton shoe. Okay, so you just need to apply it and let it dry out. So you have to wait about a day and it protects your shoe really, really well. I love this product and I totally recommend you get it. But the only problem, the downside to this is that it is messy and you have to wait a day before you can use your permanent shoe again. So, because uh, I play a lot, so I usually don't have a day to wait uh, without having to use a pair of shoes. So that's just the downside of it. And the skateboard warehouse uh, has done a very great tutorial on how do you apply it effectively. So, uh, you can click the video here to, to see his demonstration on how to use, how to apply shoe glue, shoe glue properly. Such a difficult word to pronounce. <laughs> the next thing is plastic dip. Plastic dip is uh, essentially a layer of plastic that would solidify and that is one product that you can use to spray on your shoe but it is difficult to apply because uh, you have to actually tape up uh, your shoe so that you do not mess it up and as well as set a layer of cardboard or towel around it so that you do not dirty the floor. But based on reviews, this one I got to thank. I, I got this idea from this uh, from this former in Badminton Central, so I gotta give him the credits for him. Put the link of his post down in the description below. So do check it out. And he shares uh, his experience using Plastic Dip, which I personally have not tried. But based on reviews and videos I've seen, and his response, he said that it is very good in terms of protecting your shoe while not uh, like making your shoe look very ugly and messy. Yeah. So if you have more time to spare and don't mind cleaning up, use plastic. And the last but not least is my favorite of them all, using sports tape. For sports tape, it is very fast and efficient and a lot of professional players actually use sports tape. The only downside to it is that it can get really, uh, it is not very aesthetically pleasing to the eye because having one sports tape around your shoe is, yeah, it just spoils the look of the shoe. But if you don't mind aesthetics, and you want your shoe to last much longer with an instant, easy, quick fix. Uh, sports tape is the way to go. And let me do a de demonstration of how I actually take my shoe right now. Okay, so as you can see, this is my non-master foot and there is a few scuffing over here. Because this shoe is relatively new, so there isn't, uh, it isn't very obvious, but there is actually damage wear and tear over here from just about a week uh, worth of wearing. So I, I wore this shoe about a week and I get damages from here and here as well. Okay, so this is the sports tape that I actually recommend, the kind that is uh, very sticky but at the same time stretchable so that it can actually bend and does not restrict your, your toe movement unlike uh, duct tape. Duct tapes or other kinds of tape, they actually restrict movement because they are very stiff. So how I do it, so I just tear out a piece. the other side. Okay, and there you have it, that's it. 
so it's a very easy, quick fix to protect your shoes. So usually, when do I take my shoes? Is usually right after I buy. Once I buy the, a, a new shoe, instantly straight away, the first thing I do is I tape it so that it does not even damage in the first place. And it's very easy to replace. So if it's dirty, wet, or smelly, all you do is just peel it off. Yeah, it becomes more really easy. Like you see, it comes off very nicely. Yeah. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Have a great day.